Hey, welcome back to Jeff Koinange, live at the Villa Rosa Kempinski on this Inspiration Thursday. Incredible story. Five years ago, nine-year-old Rose Nassimiu diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. She thought she was going to die. We all thought she was going to die. Oh, thanks, Jeff. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, we all thought you would fight it. Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> Look at this fire in his belly. And she did. Three years ago, declared cancer-free. Even though once in a while, she does have fainting spells. But for the most part, she's cancer-free. And her message to you all out there, who you may know someone, who knows someone who has cancer, you can beat it. You can fight it with the right attitude and the right resilience. And resilience in the form of support group, like Rosie's mother, Phoebe Wekesa. And look what we have here. Some other troops who have joined us. This is the family. They all live together in the UK. Phoebe working, going to school, managing, trying to get these kids going. And then these are the little munchkins. So, right there next to you, Phoebe, that's Zach. This is Zach. Zach is seven years old. This What's up, Zach? Give us a fist. Mom! Yeah, my other <laughs> And this is Aaron. Oh, so how old are you, Erin? How old are you? Don't be shy. Four. four. She's four. She'll be four in, in August. August. In August. Yes. And of course, Rosie. Yes. And the, this is incredible. How, how do you do it, honestly? Uh, with Dad, we work so well together. Yeah. Okay, we do live separate, but we work so well together. Yeah. Does he help you all? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. He's really supportive. He, he helps he is. And any way yeah. he can, doesn't he? Mean? Exactly. Yeah. Zach stays with Dad. Okay. And I stay with Rose and Erin. But we work so well together. We, we absolutely do. But it's not, it cannot be easy. I mean, in Kenya, you can have maids and, 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 and people helping out and yeah. family, extended family. It must be difficult in the UK. Do you have a maid? I, I don't have a maid. Wendy and Butch. Mimi do much. Mimi do everything, you know. My mom brought me up well, and I do absolutely everything. And uh, that's how I bring up my kids. They're so helpful. Rose is so helpful. She cooks, she cleans, she does. The 14 year old. <laughs> yes, she does. Do you want Rose? Huh? She you does. Cook for them? You, you, you. Oh, yeah, I cook and I clean. And Erin was just asking me, is this my daddy? I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> She's asking, who's your daddy? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Who's your daddy? Uh -huh. Hey, Erin. Erin, sit nice. <laughs> oh, no. Erin, don't be shy. Erin. She's asking Aaron. about your daddy. Uh -huh. right. yeah, I'm going to take that as a compliment, Erin. Yeah. Yeah, I cook and I clean, yeah, and um, I try to help mom as much as possible. Yeah, yeah and Zach, yeah. they, they go to school, I mean, they, they, they... Yeah, yeah, they go to school. So you wake up and you drop them off? Okay, because Zach stays with dad, so dad does... And when he's with dad. you? Yeah, he, he, he does. So we, we know our days, and we work so well together with dad. So, yeah, on Thursday, you see mommy, don't you? Yes. Mommy. So, yeah, he sees mom and the girl sees dad. Yeah. So, we, yeah, we work so well together. How old was he when he left Kenya? When Zach left Kenya, he was two years and about eight months. Did he remember any of it? He doesn't. Nothing? He, he doesn't. Rosie, what was it? Yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. yeah. What was it like coming back for the very first time in five years, landing at JKIA and now oh. making your way into the city? Uh, it was overwhelming, you know, I haven't been home in five years, which is a really, really long time. And it's just, you know, being able to see things and how as how I remember, obviously, you know, it's changed yeah. a bit, but I'm just happy, you know, I'm back home, you know, where I belong and with people that I love, you know, I'm my uncles and aunts. People that you want? I love. Oh, okay. Yeah, my uncle Frank, yeah. my auntie Jane, yeah, yeah everyone, yeah. they're just so supportive, yeah. you know, and, you know, I could never ask for a better family. And when you go back, I mean, obviously, are you, are you, do you plan to come back at some point for good or, or I mean, after your studies maybe, I mean, yeah, later on? Um, I've, that's not something I've actually thought about, you yeah. know what I mean? Because um, at the moment I'm like concentrating on my studies because I'm in a really good school which I'm happy in. 
and um, I've got good friends and I've got a really good life back yeah, um, in, yeah, in yeah. England. And you want to do this oncology stuff, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I want to go to uni and, you know, yeah. pursue my dreams. Yeah. Phoebe, how, how, how grades? Are they okay? Yeah, she, she, she does very well. Yeah. She is, she's good. And the school is amazing. Yeah. They support her a lot. Yeah. She, she's very good. And these ones, do they all get along? I mean, oh, you've got the whole Brady Bunch here. Oh, and they like love each other. The United they, Nations here. Yeah, they love each other, but they fight a lot. They fight <laughs> yeah. a lot. Do they? Yeah. They can't, they, literally, they can't even spend five minutes without fighting. That's love, though. That's uh -huh. love. That's mm -hmm. sibling love. Yeah. Uh -huh. They don't fight with me, though. They know I'd win. They know you're the uh, elder sister. Yeah, I'd win this, so yeah. they, they wouldn't even try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> advice for people and I saw it's all about inspiration and people are being inspired there's lots of tweets coming in very thick and very fast but what advice do you give Phoebe people out there and you know there's a lot of poor people like this Merrill kid who's in India and he needs eight and a half million shillings mm -hmm. eight and a half million eight and a half. so we have a pay bill number I'll just tell you Katie okay, you can't put it up right now but I'll, I'll say it to you um, and there's a pay bill number is 210 599 210 599 and the account name is Merrill Marilyn yeah Marilyn M-E-R-L-Y-N Marilyn mm -hmm. right? beautiful name a very nice name pay bill number 210599 account name is Marilyn I mean what, do you, what advice do you give we can sit here and say have faith do everything but without good medication it's so hard yeah. We were so lucky, because even with our faith, still cancer was spreading. If we could not have gone to UK, maybe yeah. it could have been another case. Yeah. So I can tell them anything, but the government should just have good facilities in all the hospitals to help people out there. Yeah. It is very expensive. The first, it's really yeah, absolutely First lady expensive. is very involved in um, um, beyond zero, mm -hmm. right? Yes, Helping zero. kids, you know, those those uh, first few years or first few months after birth. She's yeah. very involved. Uh -huh. Her husband, if he was listening to you right now, what would you tell him? The president, what would you say in that camera there? What would you say to him? I'd just like to say to the president that, you know, you have the power to do so much for these kids. And all we need you to do is just try. Try and just help make the facilities even a, a little bit better. Someone sent me a picture um, and it was...